Hi guys, Jennifer here. I have three journal sets available in my store. I'll leave the link below. I used the Stamperia or Stamperia Old Lace paper. Love this paper, it's very beautiful and it kind of gives that vintage vibe. And so I made a TN style, standard TN style journal here. And I made a trifold out of a uh, paper bag and um, I altered this bag. So let me go ahead and start. This is a blank journal. I put in, on here a little uh, snippet. This is like kind of like the beginning of a snippet and you can add a bunch of goodies to that and or cut these into bits and pieces and use them throughout your journal. So that comes off. And then this is a beautiful piece of the paper from Stamperia. And it has a like a wrought iron gate on the front. And then inside here, I have some coffee and tea dyed papers. And I also have a little paper bag here with a wax bag. This is avocado dye paper. And then this is the center of the signature. I left this long. You can untie it, add per, uh, beads to that if you want to. And it's just a nice little journal that you can decorate with all of the pretties that I made. So on, in the trifold here, I just covered the front with some of the papers, added some laces, some cheesecloth. This is uh, laces from the Mocha Latte lace kit from Ula La Vintage Treasures. And then this trifold was from a previous kit. I'll leave that information below. And I was able to make a couple more of the trifolds from, from that kit. And in here, well, I guess I should start right here. When you open the trifold, you have this Tim Holtz pocket, and I have little embellishments in here, little tags and stuff, some Tim Holtz tickets. This is a shabby dabby doodah, little bits of ephemera in here. And then you open that up, and in this lace pocket here, you have a little booklet. And then in the center part here, there's a little tuck spot. And you have this tag with a paper clip. And then um, journaling paper here. And then this is a little booklet, writing booklet here. Just a few sheets in there. And then over here in this pocket, there's another little booklet. And then a glassine bag uh, with one of the little tags from the paper collection. And then here is a digital image here. And then you have tags in these pockets here. Three of these. Super fun. So you have all these things to decorate your journal with. And then I have a crunchy bag here. And here's a little teeny tiny Tim Holtz clip. And that comes off there, so you can use that as well in the journal. 
And I just decorated the front up a little bit with some lace and some music paper, some of the papers, laces from Ooh La La. And then in here I have um, the pockets. I have a video on decorating these. And I have a little tag on the inside with a little charm here. And then I have this one as well and a digital, some coffee dyed paper on the back and a little tag that you can use as well. Okay, so that is the first set. We'll call that the wrought iron gate. Let's see the pictures. And then you have set number two, and here is this one with a snippet here that comes off. And this has pretty letters on the front. So we'll call this one letter, vintage letters. And then very similar um, stuff on the inside. And then another trifold here that I decorated with the Prima flower. Actually, these aren't Prima. These are 49 and Market flowers. Lace from Ooh La La. Some cheesecloth. So lace closure there. And then here I have um, another Tim Holtz pocket with all the little goodies on the inside there. And the same as the um, previous one, there's a little booklet here, another booklet tag and a paper clip there in this tuck spot. And then a booklet here, glassine bag with a tag and a digital image there. And then three tags in these pockets here. Okay. So that's that. Okay. And then another bag with this cute little Tim Holtz clip. I just love those little clips. Oops. And then some more embellishments and a tag in, in the inside. Well, that's set number two. And then set number three is a little bit different. Set number three does not come with the trifold. It comes with this. And I also have a video on this that I created. This was a vintage frame and very thick. And I did a lot of like Franken pages on it. So that and covered it. So this is like um, really sturdy, looks like an envelope. I called it like an envelope journal. And I decorate it with all these beautiful things from La La Vintage Treasures. I have a video on how I altered this. There's a couple of pieces of the cut aparts in there, the tags and this dress form. And then this opens up and you have a writing element on here. A little pad that you can use and what was cool about this is that you can use this to store your paper and then you can write on it okay and then that tucks in there in the back i have another pocket with the franken page paper here and then this uh, little dangly element, and then two altered envelopes. Okay. And this one has a little tag in here. 
couple of tags actually. All right. And here. This one will be just a little bit more because it um, is a little heavier to ship, so it'll ship priority now. This is the journal, the snippet on the front. Beautiful, like collaged paper. I love that. And very similar elements on the inside as well. Okay, so that's the TN, the standard TN insert size. Okay, and then this one also comes with an altered bag here and the embellishments on the inside. All right, guys, so if you're interested in these, they'll be in my Zibit store. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.